Hello, welcome to the Success Factors Recruiting Knowledge Transfer Sessions. Today, uh, we are talking about the internal and external career search settings. So I am in Admin Center in my instance. Um, from Admin Center, I'm going to open the page so that we can configure the internal and external career search settings. So uh, you can use the tool search to look for this page, or you can come here into the uh, recruiting menu and then pick this option here, internal and external career search settings. So we are going to use this page to set up the filters that the applicants may use as a search criteria. As you can see here at the top, I have two tabs, external side and internal side. So it is possible to have different search fields in the internals and the external career sites. So definitely um, keep this in mind that you don't need to have the exact same fields for uh, internals and for externals to use. So the setup that we are going to do here will also determine the labels and the pick lists that are going to be used on the filter fields and on the M fields. So we are going to determine which fields the candidates will use to search for jobs. We are going to determine the order of the fields. We are going to determine the labels and the pick lists that the fields uh, will have associated to them. So this is, let's scroll down a little bit. So this is the external side. Okay, I have the external side uh, selected here. And then I have uh, several sections here. So I have this general settings here. I have the standard fields here. And then I have the custom fields here. I'm just scrolling down so you can see what we have already defined here. As you can see, there are some fields here. So let me just uh, go back. Okay. So talking about each one of the uh, the options that we have here. So this one, a maximum number of fields displayed for each row. So this is going to specify how many fields are shown left to right in the search results before the information wraps to the next line. So you have a drop down here of values and you can pick one. And then I have maximum number of characters displayed for each field specifies how many characters are shown before the data trails off. And then I have the default sort by column. This is going to specify the field search results are sorted by when they are first returned. So the candidates can select any other filter field to sort by if they wish. But by default, this is going to be date posted or it can obviously be by relevance. And then when we come here to the standard fields, so I have visible, I have greet order, and I have the field label. So I have these three columns. So the visible uh, here it will be um, to will be used to specify whether a standard field will show as a search option to the candidates. So if you check the box, it means that the candidates will see this field as a search field. If the box is unchecked, it means that the field will not be visible. As you can see, some of them are grayed out, so these will always appear by default to candidates. Then I have the grid order. The grid order specifies if a searchable field will also appear in the search results table, and if so, in what order, from left to right, they will appear. Uh, setting this field to zero causes it to be emitted from the search results table. And then I have here the field label. As you can see, this is already um, populated and we cannot change that here. This is uh, because this is related to standard fields. Okay, so that is why the label is already provided. Okay, and then for the custom fields, um, 
I have again several options, search order, grid, filter ID, field label, pick list ID, and parent pick list ID. So let me talk a little bit about each one of those. So for the search order, this is going to specify whether the field will appear in the career site search options. And then again, if so, in what order from top to bottom. Uh, setting this field to zero causes it to be omitted from the search options. So if you don't want a field to be visible to candidates as a search option, just Excuse me, just mark um, zero here, just add zero here. Uh, all of these fields are defined, are created in the job requisition template, but that doesn't mean that you have to use them all in the external career site or in the internal career site. So, for example, this one, because I have zero for the state field, I am saying that the state field is not going to be a search field in the external career site. And then I have here the grid ID, uh, the grid order, actually. Uh, this is exactly what we've seen before. And then I have the filter ID. This is just the ID uh, that is going to be, that is used, that is defined in the job requisition XML. So you don't need to worry about this. As you can see, this is not even editable for you. So this is just uh, for reference. And then I have the field label. So the field label will determine the label of the field that will be visible in the career site. Because these are custom fields, you need to provide a label. So that is different from the, the standard ones, which is uh, which um, have a label already provided. But because these are custom fields, we need to provide a label for them. And then I have the pick list ID. So the pick list ID um, specifies, specifies which pick list the field is going to use. And then um, I have the parent pick list ID here that is going to specify which parent pick list the field is associated to. Um, please keep in mind that a pick list association um, in the requisition XML is mostly ignored. So the pick list association must be made here in this page in order for the uh, requisition XML to load correctly in provisioning. So although the pick list association in the XML should exist in any case because that ensures proper reporting data, this is um, uh, keep in mind that you also need to add the pick list ID in the parent pick list ID here because otherwise the uh, upload of the requisition XML and provisioning will not work properly. So always make sure that you add that here. And then let me just scroll down a little bit. Uh, as you can see, these are the M fields. So they are very similar to the filter fields, but M fields allow a user to pick more than one value. So in the filter field, you will see a drop down of values and you can only pick one value the M fields will um, allow you to pick or will allow the candidate to pick more than one value. So then again, make sure that you select them if you want to make them visible to candidates and make sure that you provide a label, a, a pick list ID and a parent pick list ID in case there is one. Once you are happy with your uh, setup, you can click here in the Save button and this will automatically be reflected in the site. And then again, this is the external setup. If I go into the internal setup, I can also make uh, my definitions. As you can see, there is this option here, Copy External Site Settings. So if you want the external and the internal site to match exactly, you can just do copy settings um, and that system will automatically make the same settings for you. It is just easier if you want to make the exact same settings. But if they are different, you can obviously make the uh, setup here in this page. Everything is exactly the same except this one, the person to display in search results in the internal site. This is going to specify which, if any, operator should be listed as the contact person of the job posting for the internal candidates conducting the job search. Um, this option is not available in the external career site. So as you saw, this is only available because this is the internal site setup. So you can pick any of these users or you can even say none. And then again, once you are happy with your setup, you can just come here 
and uh, click on the Save button to save your changes. And then you can go into the internal career site and uh, validate them. So if I go here to careers, The fields that you see here, the filters are the exact same that we just uh, that we just seen in that other page. So in that other page, we are going to define exactly what are the fields that the candidates should see here in this um, job search page.